Greetings and salutations. Thanks for clicking on the video. Today we're going to take a look at using workspaces in the Ubuntu Unity desktop environment. And uh, I was uh, playing with this earlier today and I thought, I don't think I've ever really showed this in a video. So I thought it would make a good Linux tip, especially for those of you who are new to Ubuntu and new to Unity. So let's take a look at how that works. Now when you first install Ubuntu you're not going to see this feature enabled. You have to go turn it on which actually I think is a good idea because anybody who's coming to Ubuntu who's not used to this sort of a workflow environment might be a little confused. So to turn it on you go to settings, you go to appearance and then under behavior uh, click the behavior tab it takes a couple of seconds to load, by the way, especially if you're on a, uh, a computer that's a little bit slower and uh, maybe has a spinning hard drive. So don't think it's broken if it takes a second to load. And then just enable workspaces. And when you do, you will see that uh, this little icon right here uh, shows up over here in the launcher bar. And you can uh, just click on that. And now you see all of your different workspaces. Uh, you can also get the same view by hitting the Windows key and then you can um, press the letter S and it'll give you that same view. Now, how do you use this? Well, we're on Workspace One right now, so we're going to go ahead and let's open up uh, Google. We have the browser open there and uh, then uh, we'll switch to works another Workspace. Uh, alternate control and the arrow keys take you to your workspaces so we're on workspace 2 and over here we can have the uh, mail client running so it's checking to see if we've got any emails I don't at the moment obviously nobody loves me switch to another one using alternate control and the arrow keys here uh, let's just open something to have something open I'm gonna open a terminal and let's put some output on the screen we'll call it you know let's open up the calendar just so we have something going there um, over here we can also uh, let's see let's what else can we do we'll uh, do a software update we'll have that running over here okay so it's now updating itself and uh, once again Windows or Super S and it shows us everything that's running now if you should happen to have a screen where you have a bunch of things open let's go ahead and open up Firefox here and let's say that we were also looking at Firefox and we were writing a document. Uh, so I'm going to open up LibreOffice Writer. I'm going to have that running as well. And um, that's going to take a second to load, obviously. Oh, it did load up. It loaded up in the background. Okay. So let's say that we already have like uh, three applications. And just for fun, I'm going to open up GR Sync here. We're not using it, but it's just an app to show you what I'm talking about. And uh, you realize that now that you have you know we have three apps on the screen on this particular workspace if we want to move it uh, then all we have to do is to go back to that scale mode Windows S or you can just use your mouse and click here and it'll show you and uh, let's go ahead and we'll move LibreOffice over here uh, with the mail so that's out of the way and we'll put GR Sync over here with our software update and our terminal that's open. And um, go ahead and open that. And, uh, we can uh, also move things around by um, alternate control shift and an arrow key. And so I moved to a workspace and I just moved uh, the Firefox browser over here to uh, that workspace. And we can take a look and see that right there easy peasy that's all there is to it now as a, a, a kind of a related thing is everybody's familiar with alternate tab and as you can see we have uh, several applications open here Ubuntu's unity desktop also has a feature where if you hold the alternate key and then hit the tilde key uh, that's the the key all the way you know next to the one all the way to the left uh, it's not it's going to show us a screen preview of whatever application we choose so if I do alternate tab again, all right, there's alternate tab, and it's currently on the updater. There, it shows it to me. So you can see what it's doing, whether we want to uh, close it or uh, do anything with it. Actually, very, very cool. Um, 
okay and we also have the super key and uh, the application you can open up the menu there just hitting the super key will open up the menu there are tons of shortcuts in the um, uh, unity environment that once you get the hang of you can move very very quickly and uh, get things done so um, let's see what else can we show you about workspaces here um, I showed you that you can drag which is very nice just take it and put it wherever you want to and when you're done you just switch on whatever workspace you want to be on and we can close that alternate and F4 automatically closes applications uh, so let's switch over here and we'll do the same thing here so all closed and I'm gonna click OK on that to make that go away so now we've cleared out that workspace and let's see what else can we do here you keep hitting the wrong key and I'm doing that because I'm doing a video I do this all day anyway and we just just this is how you can manage your workflow using workspaces on the unity desktop actually pretty cool if you ask me this is something that uh, most every Linux desktop offers but I particularly like the way Ubuntu manages it it seems to me to be uh, a good combination of functionality without either being in your face and making sound effect noises when you switch desktops and that sort of thing and uh, you're you're limited to four I think you can add more um, but that would be major tweaking so I'm not really sure but four is enough should be enough for anybody uh, who's doing this sort of thing I couldn't imagine keeping up with more than four desktops at the same time that would uh, get kind of uh, <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> confusing uh, so there you go and thank you for uh, watching the video and don't forget uh, to check out easylinux.com. That's easylinux.com. If you'd like me to help you get started with Linux, check that out, and you can find out how. And uh, before I close the video, I just want to say that, you know, you're going to hear a lot of negative things in the Linux community about the Unity desktop. There are folks out there who just hate it for one reason or the other. I'm not one of them. I don't think it's uh, the fastest desktop in the world, but uh, what really changed my mind about unity when it first came along I really didn't like it but then I watched my kids using it and at the time they were five and nine years old and they had no problem whatsoever adapting to it and learning how to use it and now uh, on the uh, family laptop computer if I change it to anything else uh, they throw a fit they want Ubuntu on the machine with the unity desktop so do give it a shot especially if you're going to download Ubuntu don't automatically jump for that uh, other desktop just because somebody said it's better give unity a try first you can always switch later anyway thanks for watching the video we'll talk again soon